Hello from Slovenia again. So today I have uh, an online class uh, and we did a reverse flower dip with glue, glue and water mixture. So I have some mixture left and I decided that I will do a reverse flower dip with you here on YouTube too with glue mixture and we will see how this will work if we will get the same effects and lacing and everything else I did get lacing a little different uh, on class I did uh, once a glue mixture reverse dips but um, and then when we did classes with my student we did spiral dip and now I will try to do a bottle bottom or I have to say cup bottom pour because I will use these flower shaped dessert cups if you will look at these cups in internet or something you search for flower shaped dessert cups if you want to buy these cups that I use I will just spread my background color I will use white and I mix my paints uh, I mixed 60% uh, glue I don't have glue all or Elmer, Elmer's glue all we just have some craft glue here in Slovenia so it's different than your yours glue all probably but I hope that all glues, PVA glues, white glues work kind of similar so that you will be able to see if this work or not. Uh, I really enjoyed uh, yesterday's live again thank you all for coming it was a successful live stream I got three three really beautiful paintings so if you missed my life you can check it it's still there uh, I always have good time with my ladies and some guys not a lot of guys mostly uh, we are women and talking to each other and having a good time together I will just try to determine my middle kind of not exactly but kind of okay uh, I will put all my colors in the description so you will be able to check them this is my pearl white mixture is Amsterdam titanium white oh I mixed all my paints one part pouring medium glue all and water and one part paint and in some of my colors I have to add a little water and look I get this cute cups from Stefan 
Thank you, Stefan and the hubby and the dog. <laughs> uh, he sent me a package today with a lot of steer sticks and cups and my Bessner acrylic binder. I was just so happy. So nice of you, Stefan. I really appreciate it. So, I really love these cups. They had a lid to put on and you can store your paints really nice. And this is light gold. This is my Mieri light gold. And Alizarian violet. I really love this technique <laughs> and this is um, uh, Lola Naples yellow red hue light it goes really nice with this um, Lizarian violet I think and now this is um, metallic rose kind of it's our Reicher brand that it's similar to your deco art extreme sheen or the same even and permanent blue violet from Amsterdam and this is Magenta, I think that this is Artina brand, yes, Artina, Magenta, and I will add some pearl white again. This gold yellow, it's kind of an orangey yellow. This is my Mieri brand, it's an Italian brand for some contrast, maybe. Okay, first layer is done. And now I will switch my cup. And now I will do, whoops. lines okay and pearl white again not much and gold again light gold And Lizarian Violet. Just think that I need a little more of this Lizarian. I love Lizarian Violet. Uh, and Naples Yellow Red Hue Light. And this Metallic Pink. Permanent blue violet again a little more of this one and 
denti, magenta, <coughs> Metallic white again, pearl white, sorry. And it's gold yellow, a little more this time. And I will do some leaves on the outside while I'm waiting. <clears throat> For paint to flow off, I will do some greenery around and I will do one here and one here and one here and one here. A little more green this time. This is phthalocyan blue. Eh, phthalocyan turquoise. Sorry, guys. Oop. I don't know, maybe this one is a little thinner than the other ones. <coughs> Ultramarine, no, too much, just a little bit. I will add a drop of green turquoise on top and maybe some gold. Okay, let's add some gold. And I can already see that one of my paints don't react as I want to. I don't know which one is it. Maybe this metallic one. You see? Or magenta. <coughs> we will see what will happen. So, I will just... Do this. Just want to bring a little <coughs> of this greenery. towards the middle 
Okay, let's see what will happen. I will spray my paper napkin because I prefer wet paper napkin than dry one. Put my paints on the side a little bit that I will have space. I will <clears throat> lay it down half and half like I normally do because I think that I have more control that way. And I think that I have something. No, it's okay. And the other half, just take your time. With this part, lay it down gently just to make sure that there will be not a lot of uh, air underneath. So, and let's stop this gently, I will do leaves first, and then these petals, I will really do one uh, when I will leave it like it is, but I don't want to do this with this one because I don't know how glue will work with this technique. As I said, we did a spiral. I did a spiral pour flower dip already with it, but not this bottle bottom or cup bottom pour. I used to do this in the middle so I think that it helped me with uh, my lifting part so let's go and hope for something nice okay grab other four corners kind of Just do this part slow and gently, don't rush. Oops. And So I, I didn't do my lifting part, part quite nice, but I kind of like this shape of this flower too. It's a lot of paint on the surface, but I don't have troubles with cracking, so that's why I want to see what will happen with glue. But 
this color combo is just gorgeous. I hope that it will dry okay, but if it won't, I will definitely use this combination <clears throat> with my pouring medium because colors are stunning together. I don't think that I want to do anything else with it. I will just take you for a close-up that you will see what I'm talking about. Just wow! I really, really love these colors and as you can see I get lacing as uh, I normally do so the only question is how this will dry I will let you know oops sorry uh, how this painting will dry so that you will know if you can use glue with this technique but what I will do definitely is use this color combination I have to write it down with my pouring medium because it's just stunning so this is it for today. If you didn't, please consider yet, please consider to subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment, give me some thumbs up if you like it. And see you on the next one. Bye.